Will this machine live or will it die? Hello, JP Styles 85 here, and today I have a retro laser disc player and this is the Sony MDP I can't think of the exact code number MDP I think it's 533D something like that if if I'm wrong I'll just put the uh, the code on the screen now so this laser disc player I picked up at the Carrara markets at Gold Coast um, non-working quite a nice uh, looking unit there's two issues with it one is the eject which I can show you now so I have to use my finger to assist and the other issue which is probably the biggest issue is it won't read the movie or anything like that compact disc music CDs so what I've got here is uh, Mickey, we'll throw this one in. Push the plate. You can hear it loading. It does say if it focus LD, so it does recognise sort of that there's a laser disc in there, but doesn't have the guts to sort of read. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a compact disc in, get rid of that laser disc. So I'm just going to put in a music CD, throw him in the center, close him up, and does not recognize a CD whatsoever because it says no disc, doesn't say compact disc. Anyway, so I'm going to have to pull this apart and have a look I guess see what laser model it is and uh, see if it's healthy or not give it a few adjustments and see if I can't get it working okay like most things when you want to access the laser it's much easier if you eject the disc tray then switch the machine off and that exposes the old laser there I've done a few things to it and obviously it's a dead laser so I'm gonna have to order a new laser if it's possible see how I go trying to find the KHS 130A oh right here I got myself a little package from Germany so wonder what would be in here it's probably the part that I wanted hopefully this is the answer For the laser disc repair. Yeah. Bust him open. This laser disc, or well, this laser, sorry, for the laser disc, is not a cheap part. Uh, 99 euros plus 21 which works out about 160 or 70 Australian dollars yeah bit, bit insane bit insane so that's the laser that I'm after KHS 130A so we'll have a look. Hopefully it looks pretty similar to the one. Don't 
don't know if the Sony's still manufacturing uh, these lasers or they're just old stock. I'm hoping they're kind of the newer because the problem with these lasers they don't have long life. Kind of surprising from Sony. Normally Sony has a lot of pride in the work. Not saying that they haven't for this, but Ugh. try and get him out. There it is. Got a little rubber protector. All is well. Gonna have to throw this bad boy in and uh, hopefully, hopefully gets my laser disc player up and running. Pretty cool. Okay, so what we want to do is try and get this laser mech out. So, first thing is, get your Phillips head screwdriver. Put it at the end here. Now, depending on which way you're facing, I think you go counterclockwise. That's it. Now, there's a screw here. Unscrew him. Don't lose him. Now, this one is a little bit of work to do. It's held on by like a little metal bracket underneath. If you can unhook him. That's it. Lift this pole up. Slide that pole out. Probably can't see, sorry guys. Put him aside somewhere. Now I've got the uh, old laser loose in my hand here to free it from the ribbon cable. There's two little white plastic. Uh, it's hard to see. Just got to pull them out. Should be loose. Comes undone. Now, I'll protect this one. Now, as far as I know, I don't think there's any un uh, soldering to do with this new laser. Some lasers, you might have to desolder a little part. It's like an anti-static protection. So, I assume this didn't have any. Anyway. Time to throw him back in. Brand new one. I'll go reverse, I'd say, so slide the ribbon cable in, push down the lugs, making sure you got good contact. Now the next part, I'd say we'll put the metal rod through. And Where's that metal thing? There's a little metal bracket I'll have to show you. It's kind of weird. Just slide the laser down a little bit closer. Got to start again because I didn't get the other side underneath. I think that might be it. There's a plastic lug on the other side, and that's what helps guide along the slide up here. So you've got to make sure that is in the correct position, otherwise it just won't slide. Now make sure that metal bracket is in correctly there. Get your little screw. 
screwdriver. Clamping down. Clockwise direction. That should be near it. Just double check your work. I'm not going to worry about lubrication yet, but if anyone is wondering, I do have some. But I'll worry about that in a minute. The main thing is whether it can just read a disc for now. So, what I do is I'll put this, the clamping component in here, line it up with the little plastic lugs on both ends. Uh, you can't quite see, we'll have to swing around this way. Okie dokie, so lugs are in, and all should line up with this one. Give a, give a little whack, and it's locked in. I don't think I'll worry about screwing anything down. New laser is in here. Here we go, power on. Bit noisy. It's loading! My goodness! Do -do -do. Wow, that's awesome. A little bit noisy when it got going, didn't it? So uh, I'll have to check that one out. It's working fantastic! Awesome! Oh, it's a faulty KHS 130A laser and quite expensive to get one from Germany unfortunately I checked out China some of their websites but they're so slow in responding and also China is very confusing with with their ordering process in general so they you know despite they did have some prices that were cheaper for that laser actually I did get a reply with one or two websites and they said they were out of stock so I don't even know why they're listing like they got tons of lasers for sale when they have none, zero in stock. Anyway, I think it's spinning up pretty good, so we'll see what it's like when we hit the stop. Just using its brakes. So now that disc stops spinning, it will eject. Okay, what I'm going to do is grab that compact disc. Just give us one moment, guys. Okay, so I'll just put that compact disc in. Compact disc, press the play, awesome, look how tiny a compact disc is in this machine, absolutely incredible, and it's loading a music CD, so there we are, very expensive repair, but you know what, I don't want to see these laser discs thrown out and being wasted. Unfortunately, some parts are getting hard to find. Anyway, I'm going to have to throw this on a TV set now. and Well, I might have a look and see if I can't try and repair this, this door. Or how it's not ejecting. Oh yeah, so I just replaced the belt. This is the original part. There is ways to try and uh, improve the quality. Maybe just sand it down, make it a little bit rougher, add a little bit more grip. I know this won't last long, but what I end up doing, I grabbed a rubber band, 
which I'm sure it will die soon. It was, they're softer, way softer and more flexible than this. So I swear it was probably about half the size of this diameter. And what you gotta do is just get your little fingers, whack one around that little gear at the top of the screen, then stretch him over this one, and hopefully that solves the problem for a little while anyway. So the problem was when you eject, the disc tray would get stuck to about here. So we'll try it. Perfect. So now I've got to try this machine with a TV set, but uh, so far I'm guessing it's a working order machine. We'll just watch that belt if we can. Beautiful. Put this thing back together now and give it a good workout. So I'll just put the power switch off. Alright, so I'll just snap him back together. Yeah, I'll just let this run for a while and uh, I walked away, so it's just over 18 minutes long. Playing the uh, Mickey movie and it's looking fantastic quality. No laser rot. So another machine saved from the dump. So very, very happy with that. So uh, I hope everyone enjoyed watching this repair video. It's stuff I like to do. I like to tinker around with stuff. Very simple repair in the end. And uh, yeah, pretty happy with the results. So uh, I can watch a fair few Laserdisc movies. Can't really show the screen too much in case I get flagged for copyright infringement. But anyway, thanks for watching everybody. If you like the video, please click the thumbs up and uh, make a comment if you like too. Uh, everyone's welcome to make a comment. Thumbs up. Thank you. Subscribe.